A new breakthrough on April 29, 2015 was reproduced by scientific teams from three countries so far. The breakthrough was based on physicist Miguel Alcubierre's idea of a warp bubble, which could be formed around a spaceship by using a special wave to contract the space in front of the vessel and expand the space behind it. By riding inside this bubble, the spacecraft would be able to travel long distances without passing through the space in between. Fast forward to the present day, and NASA may have found the first evidence of a real-life warp field being produced by a new type of engine known as the EM drive. The EM drive was first developed by American scientist Guido Feta. This peculiar new propulsion system can allegedly produce thrust without the need of any type of propellant. Now, new results from international teams comprised of US, UK, and Chinese scientists suggest that when laser beams are fired through the new EM drive's resonance chamber, they actually travel faster than the speed of light, a discovery that can indicate that the drive is producing a space warp field or warp bubble. Other scientists suggested that the EM drive's thrust was due to the quantum vacuum, the quantum state with the lowest possible energy, behaving like propellant ions behave in a magnetohydrodynamics drive. Dr. Harold White, team leader at the Advanced Propulsion Research Group at the Johnson Space Center in the United States, suggested that the propellant ions of the magnetohydrodynamics drive are replaced as the fuel source by the virtual particles of the quantum vacuum eliminating the need to carry propellant. Other scientists met this with a dose of skepticism, and it was recommended that the test be conducted in a hard vacuum, and if the test results still held, that it would strongly indicate that a distortion of space-time was occurring. Paul March, an engineer at NASA's Eagle Works, has reported that NASA has successfully tested their EM drive in a hard vacuum. This is the first time any organization has reported such a successful test. He noted that a spacecraft equipped with an EM drive technology could surpass the performance expectations of the Warp Star 1 concept vehicle. A community of enthusiasts, engineers, and scientists on several continents have joined forces through several official discussion forums to thoroughly examine the experiments and results, as well as discuss operational theories of the EM drive. After consistent reports of thrust measurements from the EM drive experiments in the US, UK, and China, at thrust levels several thousand times in excess of a photon rocket, and now under hard vacuum conditions, the question of where the thrust is coming from deserves serious inquiry. The applications of such a propulsion drive are multifold, ranging from low Earth orbit operations, to transit missions to the Moon, Mars, and other solar systems, to spaceships for interstellar travel. Dr. White's team conducted experiments to find out whether or not it was possible to measure, with an interferometer, the distortion of spacetime produced by time-varying electromagnetic fields. The ultimate goal was to find out whether it was possible for a spacecraft traveling at conventional speeds to achieve effective superliminal speed by contracting space in front of it and expanding space behind it. The earlier experimental results had been inconclusive, but on the positive side, none of the results had been negative. During the first two weeks of April 2015, NASA Eagle Works may have finally obtained conclusive results. This time they used a short cylindrical aluminum resonant cavity excited at a natural frequency of 1.48 GHz with an output power of only 30 watts. Results have been so positive in fact that NASA teams have now begun calculations on traveling to distant star systems and working out details of power systems for the craft using the EM drive. NASA has stated that existing sufficient power systems are available, and so a power source should not be a hindrance to creating a craft based on the EM drive. There are many international teams excitedly working on this new technology, and will be reporting on additional results as the experiments continue. It's worth mentioning that much of the technology used in this experiment is so similar to the technology used in a home microwave oven that the parts from a consumer-based microwave oven are being used in the experiments. Needless to say, the cost of building a warp-enabled craft should be on par with the cost of an automobile in the future. Daily Strange News will be tracking this strange and amazing story as it unfolds. Remember to subscribe to this channel for free, and tune in tomorrow for more Daily Strange News.
Don't forget to support our sponsors. Take care and God bless.